Hi, I'm Matt Friedman with Beach Landscaping and thank you for joining me again. This is the second informational video we're doing and the point is we would like to try to educate people on some of the issues that affect our landscape in the area. So today we're going to talk about a problem that can affect your trees and shrubs, uh, an insect issue. In particular, it's called armored scale. These are insects that will attach themselves to the leaves, woody stems of trees, of shrubs. Uh, they have uh, their mouths have teeth and they just bite into whatever it is that they're on and suck the life out of it. An example is this is a cutting from a magnolia tree, very common in this area. You'll see these white markings on the tops of the leaves, on the bottoms of the leaves, and each individual marking is one of these scale insects. These are all, by the way, an armored scale, uh, and there's different varieties of armored scale. So uh, this one's a magnolia scale. Another tree that these affect are palm trees, believe it or not. People think palm trees are nice and easy to maintain, but they do require some, some uh, maintenance. And as you can see, this one here is just loaded with these white markings and on the front of the frond, on the back of the frond, up and down the stem of the frond. This happens to be a European fan palm, but it will also affect windmill palms, pindo palms, sable palmettos. Um, some shrubs that it will affect uh, on this, this is a oleander, which is a shrub, flowering shrub. It'll flower in the summertime uh, and you will see on, on the leaves, again, uh, on the tops of the leaves in this particular one, but even on the stems as well, that the scale insects will attach themselves. Camellias are a shrub where it's very common to see it. On a camellia, these are called T-scale, uh, and you'll see it on the undersides of the leaves. You won't see it on the tops, but you'll see some discoloring. So one way to identify that you may have an issue is to notice the discoloring on the top part of the leaves. When you see that, look under, and there's the culprit right there. So it's important when treating to make sure that you spray so that the insecticide can get underneath the leaves. Uh, also, this is a, um, a different variety of chameleon known as the Sasanqua. And on the same instance here, you'll see the white T scale on the undersides of the leaves. Also very common to see the same type of scale on hollies, whether it's the holly trees or um, shrubs, uh, you'll see the scale insects. Euonymus is another one, uh, it's shrub commonly used in the area. Um, but again, you'll see in this case, it looks a little bit different than it does on the camellia. It's also T-scale, but they're a lot smaller. So there's just different varieties, even of subspecies of the same thing. Uh, you'll just see them have different characteristics, but they all do the same thing. This is an Indian hawthorn, uh, kind of an overused shrub in this area that's very prone to a leaf spot, which you already see on there. Um, but in this case, there's also scale insects under the leaves, all up and down the stems. Uh, this particular scale is known as greedy scale. Again, if these things are not treated, uh, they will take the lives of the shrubs that they're on. As far as treatment goes, uh, the best Thing to use would be horticultural oils. Uh, these are uh, readily available at Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever store you like to shop at. Um, you might see it, one called neem oil. That is also uh, a horticultural oil that you can use that's effective. Um, you want to try to avoid using a contact insecticide if you can because these may uh, have adverse effects on beneficial insects pollinating bees and, and butterflies and things that uh, you don't necessarily want to kill. So the horticultural oils are safe to use. Uh, you can use them effectively uh, anytime between November and March during the dormant season. This may help prevent uh, the outbreak when the eggs hatch in the spring from being as, as dramatic. Um, they can also be used during the growing season, but you want to avoid using them when the temperatures are above 90 degrees. And you also would use a lower concentration of the horticultural oil to water uh, in the summer months. 
So I hope this video was informative and helpful for you. Uh, please feel free to share it if you know anyone who's having these kinds of issues. This is something that I can advise people on uh, to help take care of it themselves uh, or have their landscapers do it for them. We can help with the problem, but the important thing is that the problem does get taken care of before it's too late. Stay tuned for more informative videos that we plan to do on a periodic basis of things that can affect your landscapes. Hopefully these are helpful to you and hopefully you can share them with, with people that you know. Uh, you can check us out on our website at beach-landscaping.com. Check out our Facebook page, like us, follow us, uh, and we look forward to talking to you again. Thank you.